Hi everyone, it's Sandra, your friendly travel advisor with SeamoreVacations.com. And today I'm back to bring you another tip, particularly a tip for cruising. Now today, yes, I'm a little dolled up today more than usual. My, I had a hair and makeup trial. My daughter is getting married next week, my baby is getting married so shout out to my friend Jill who makes me look glamorous and makes me feel beautiful so let's jump into this tip today it's not so glamorous today's tip is about motion sickness I know not glamorous at all but I can tell you that that is the number one question I get all the time is from first-time cruisers what if I get sick how do I handle motion sickness or seasickness and then I also get that from people who say I love watching your your um pictures and everything on your Instagram that you do and travel, but I would love to take a cruise, but I'm so afraid that of seasickness and motion sickness. So today that's what we're going to talk about, how to combat it. And I feel like for me, I'm personally an expert in the area of getting motion sickness or even seasickness. And the reason being is I live um, with vertigo and dizziness 24 seven for over the last uh, 10 years. And so I do not, I have not laid down flat or slept flat for over 10 years. So I know what it feels like to have that situation. And so I do take precautions when I go on a ship, both before and when I'm on the cruise ship, I take those precautions. And so I feel like I can bring those to you and talk to you about those effectively. So the first thing is, um, your first tip would actually be to have a great travel advisor. Now, a travel advisor, I'm a travel advisor. To me, that is more than a travel agent. Um, a travel agent usually, um, not necessarily, but usually a travel agent will just book your trip for you and um, and then you might not, they might not walk along with you the whole time. So I like being a travel advisor. I look before I book and I walk along with you after the fact. So a good travel advisor is going to be able, or even a good travel agent, is going to be able to tell you the size of a ship because the size of a ship also does matter. Size matters. Um, if you're trying to combat seasickness or motion sickness, um, the smaller ships you can feel them on. You can feel that motion of the ocean, so to speak, a little bit more. But a larger ship, you really are not going to feel it as much, at least that's been my experience because I've sailed on the smaller ships and I've sailed on larger ships. So a travel advisor, if you love a particular cruise line, will be able to tell you the size of those ships and um, help you to know um, which ones are the larger ones. Another thing is, just so you know, that a lot of these newer ships have um, stabilizers that are underneath the water in the ocean, underneath the ship, and it helps keep that ship in balance and so you don't feel that motion as much. So they come nowadays with more, the um, newer ships are coming with stabilizers on them and that's great. So stabilizers help. And another way that a travel advisor is going to be able to help you um, with that is to know where your cabin is directly. So they will be able to show you, usually you wanna get closer to midship and you also, um, some people say higher deck, some people say mid-range deck, um, people vary on that, but a travel advisor is going to be able to help you know which is the best place. You don't really wanna be in the forward and you don't wanna be in the rear if motion sickness is something that you actually battle with. However, I am getting ready to do a Cuba cruise for Mother's Day that I am going to do a forward um, ship, in, forward on the ship because I wanted this particular cabin um, on this cruise line to see what it was like. And so I'll let you know how that works out. But where your cabin is, is also will help play in that part so that you don't feel, at, feel that motion of the ocean. And, and another tip is 
if you are feeling motion sickness, go outside on, an, an, on a deck, go upper on a deck, and look out into the horizon. Don't look at the ocean, don't look at that, but look just straight off into that thin line of the horizon and focus on that and do some deep breathing and that can help you as well. Um, another tip I have heard, haven't tried, but I've heard that crew members say that eating slices of apple actually helps them. So I haven't tried it personally. I haven't needed to from all these other tips that I'm going to give you. I haven't had to do that, but that might be something to try or ask, even ask your cabin steward, hey, what do people on the ship eat or do? Um, ginger ale is another thing that you could do. And, and speaking of ginger um, from ginger ale is ginger tablets or something that I always take with me. Now, Dramamine makes a non-drowsy one now and when I realized that all it is is ginger and but it's a higher milligram of ginger so I do get it it's the Dramamine I don't have one to show you it's a Dramamine um, non-drowsy and if you turn it over and you look at the ingredients on the back it really is just ginger but it's a higher milligram of that ginger so I take a couple of those another thing I have with me all the time I get these on Amazon they're ginger gummies and um, I take those with with me as well and if I'm feeling a little bit I might pop a couple of gummies and take a ginger tablet um, and so those ginger um, gummies help as well there's all kinds of ginger chews just make sure that it's 100% uh, ginger is what's going to be in your ingredients that's what you want to make sure about another thing that I actually do I don't have the actual outside box but this is actually I don't know if you pronounce it Bonine, bonine, I'm not sure, but they come, it's a less drowsy motion over the counter motion sickness tablet. And I get the 24 hour one. I take it at night before I go to bed and it is a less drowsy, it is not non-drowsy. There is not a non-drowsy formula over the counter other than that um, Dramamine non-drowsy, which is truly just ginger. So there's not on over the counter for that. So this bonine is how we're, I'm going to pronounce it. If I'm wrong, you can correct me on it. But um, that is what I take, and I take it like I said before bed. It's a 24 hour. So I do do the bonine. I do do the ginger gummies and the ginger tablets. Um, those are all three things that I do together. That's just me. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a, a nutritionist or anyone like that. That is just, I'm telling you what I do and put them together. Um, but they are definitely something that does help with that. And then another thing is like, you can Google it. I have found them on Amazon. They're called like C-bands, S-E-A, C-bands or motion sickness band. That is something that you put around your wrist and it goes on to pressure points. And that somehow helps with the balancing out of that. There's also some essential oil drops that, um, that you can put on the backs of your ear and help that as well. I have done that as well, or inhaling some um, essential oils that are for dizziness. I have done that as well. And then one of the most important things that I get is a prescription that actually comes from my doctor, and it is a patch that you put right behind your ear. He generally tells me to put it on the night before we're going to leave on the cruise ship and they last for three days. So make sure you get enough on that prescription so that you have it. You need to tell your doctor how long you're going to be gone. So you're gonna need that. And it's a, like a little round, it looks like a round band-aid and that's about the size of it, a little round band-aid. And you just put it behind your ear and that I don't, leave without those. I could forget everything else, but for me, I need the prescription because I already battle dizziness as anyway. And so um, I feel like I need that little bit of extra when I'm gone. Um, it is a pricey prescription, but for me, I've already spent a lot of money on this cruise and I don't want to spend it lying in my bed or the other 
that's not so glamorous. So I don't want to feel that way and I don't want to feel nauseous or sick the whole time. And I can tell you with the patch and taking the ginger tablets and doing um, the, uh, the little bonding here um, that I can take. And for me, it helps. I've actually, we were in rough seas coming back to a port in New York where a hurricane had come up the state and it was coming out where we were coming in and it was tough. And so um, it wasn't so bad because we decided not to try to battle the ship and be like all over the place because there it was a storm. So we went to our room. I shut the curtains so that we did not see the motion of that waves going because watching that is enough to make you a little sick. We shut the curtains. I got up in bed, propped myself up, turned on a movie, and we spent that time doing that. And good thing was the captain told us, you know, by three o'clock, this is gonna be over. And he was right. By three o'clock, we were past it and it was great, but it really did help. My hubby had to take a, a little bit of stuff to help him through it. Usually he doesn't have to take anything, but it, it helped him as well. And so just having that stuff before you go, if for some reason you get on a ship and you start to feel very seasick, you can go see the nurse or doctor on board and get something from them. This is the one thing, if your worst comes to worst and you don't have anything, and this is, I just want you to know this, but I would rather, because that's gonna cost you when you go see them. Hello, it, you, you're seeing the doctor or nurse and, and they're gonna charge you for what they give you and it's gonna cost. So just have it with you. Have a motion sickness tablet that you can get over the counter. I suggest a non-drowsy just because you are gonna feel it. And if you've never taken, taken a motion sickness tablet before, you might wanna start several days before. And this is my preference, I'm not a doctor. I do it that way because they are going to make you sleepier. It's a less drowsy, it's not a non-drowsy. And so it's gonna make you sleepier. So I do it several days going into my cruise so that my body's starting to get used to it a little bit. So I'm not like dead tired. I did that to my poor sister on a cruise. She felt like she needed something, I gave it to her. And then what'd she do all day? She slept, she slept all day. So I just, if you take it a couple of days before, that's something. But most not uh, over-the-counter motion sickness tablets, a less drowsy, a ginger tablet, um, a C band, all of those things will will help you as well. Getting some fresh air, um, going, getting on the right placement in the ship and then um, getting that prescription. If you really know that you're going to be someone who's motion, who has to deal with it, even if you don't wanna take it in the beginning and you wanna get on the ship and see, my advice is the minute you start to think, mm, I'm feeling a little bit queasy, immediately take action. Don't wait until it's too late and then you can't it's going to take you a lot more time to recover. If you start feeling like, oh, I just don't know. I had that happen to some of a couple of my adult children on a family cruise. And I said, listen, if this is how you're feeling, let's get something in you right now. And I was able, because mom came prepared and, um, and came prepared with that. So I always have it just in case um, hubby needs it or I take a little bit extra if I know my family or friends are traveling with me and somebody needs something. I'd rather be able to give it to them and then they be so sick that they cannot enjoy the time or enjoy the cruise. But those are some ways that I combat the, the seasickness and motion or some motion sickness for myself. And like I said, I'm not a doctor, but these are the things that I do, except for the patch that you can only get by prescription from your physician. So um, that's the tip on how to combat motion sickness. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and ring that bell down there to get some notifications. Subscribe so you know every time I give some tips and trips tips and tricks I do that every time tips and tricks look at my other videos I have I any cruise cabin I'm on I take a video any resort that I go to I always take video and um, I try to stay in on, with my own dime on the higher rooms just because I want you to see what that is like so um, make sure that you and then um, make sure that you um, 
Go to my website. That's what I want to say. Go to my website, seemorevacations.com. I have it linked below. I've got some freebies there you can sign up for. You can ask me any questions in there. You can post questions below. And then I have my social media links as well because I would love for you to come over and say hi. I'd love to. Let's be friends on social media. I love to interact with you. So just go and click on all those little links below and, and give the thumbs up and do all the things you're supposed to do on YouTube. So until next time, again, my name is Sandra, your friendly travel advisor from seemorevacations.com. So I'm going to say for now, bon voyage.